All right, this video is to demonstrate figure four um, for the torso foundation. This is in chapter 18 of your books, and we're just going to try to do it in CLO, basically. So um, figure four, you already have your front sloper. You drew a slash line on it. Um, now, separately, you're going to basically draft a big rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out, find some space to do this, I guess. Um, Okay, so say square line and mark a corner A. Um, great. I guess we'll do, oh, I, don't, I think we'll just do a really big pattern piece. So you want to get your rectangle, keyword shortcut, the letter S. And I mean, I'm going to make it bigger than the sloper I have over here. Oh gosh. Actually, it probably should be way bigger than that now that I just realized it. I probably should have mimicked the uh, front one. Let's see if I mimicked it. You know what? I'll just delete it. And, um, something bigger than what that front one is. Okay, cool. Okay, and so this bottom corner, they're gonna to refer to as a letter A, and they want us to draft where letter B would be, and it's gonna be somewhere along this line. And this time they actually gave us a measurement. I don't know if you remember the front, they didn't give us a measurement, so we ended up just adding one inch. Well, this time they say take the hip arc and add half an inch. So the size 16 I'm using is 10 and 3 fourths plus 1 half inch is going to be 11 and a quarter. I'm going to have my eye on this because I might end up moving it to 11 and 3 fourths. Um, but I'll start with 11 and a quarter for now. So I'm going to add my point here, this tool over here. Let me click it. Um, it's the add point split line, keyboard shortcut X because I guess it X is the line. And I want it 11 and a quarter right now. Um, so, oh, you know what? I need to select this the right way. I'm going to select this little point. There we go. Now I'll hit the letter X for this keyboard shortcut. Um, yeah, so I want this 11 and a quarter inches away. I'm going to right click and I'll just type in, in line two here, I guess, 11.25. Cool. So that's going to be letter B. Um, okay, so we're still under the first bullet. That was just the first part. Now they're going to say B to C. They want us to actually pull from our front hip depth. When I first looked at that, I'm like, hmm, is that a typo? Should be our back hip depth. But then it makes sense. I guess they want that line um, to be even all the way around. And then they do actually kind of address it later. So we are taking the front hip depth. depth and um, yeah, we're just taking the front hip depth. We don't have to do math, correct? Da, 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 da. Yeah. So um, so mine is, I have, why do I have added a half inch? I must have read that wrong. Yeah, B to C is front hip depth. Hip depth. Um, mine is eight and five eighths. Okay, so I'm gonna mark eight and five eighths um, straight up here. So maybe I'll actually just do a point up here. I'm gonna right click. And say eight and five eighths. Is that six two five? If you forget like me, how what is the decimal form of five eighths? I'm just gonna use my calculator. Yeah, six two five. So eight point six two five for me. I'll say okay. And then once I have that point, um, I can select it. I'm using this little selection tool. I'm gonna click that point. I'm gonna right click. We're gonna add a perpendicular line. Oopsies, I should have done the y axis. There we go, why? Um, yeah, it can go all the way, it can extend, 90 degrees, great, okay, cool. Okay, and you know what? It probably wouldn't hurt if I did the same thing with this point. Right click, add perpendicular line, X, uh, okay, fine. Okay, cool. So, now if we want it to match the book, we can add a point right here and like delete those two lines. I don't think it really matters. Um, okay. So anyways, they want us to dot three fourths inch from C. So this point where they cross is C. So maybe I should just add a little point right there. Why not? Okay. Oh, it added it on that line. I actually wanted to add it on the other. So when I zoom in, it was off a little bit. There we go. And then now I can actually just uh, use uh, my selection tool here and select that and delete that guy. I don't really need him. And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this. I don't want to select the whole line because it might delete my point. Let me see. What happens if I delete it? Yeah, I deleted too much. 
So I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to pick this point, that yellow guy, and delete him. There we are. Um, okay. You know what? From this point, I can right click and I can, is it the add perpendicular line? Yeah. Uh, X axis? I did that wrong. I'm going to pick this guy and add perpendicular Y. I don't even know if that's correct. I think it is. Okay. And then I think if I do that, I can actually delete this little point. Hmm. Okay, let me try doing this one again. I'm going to select this guy, add perpendicular line. I think that's the Y. Yeah. Oh, but let's make it go both sides. That's what I did wrong. Okay. Um, okay. Now I can take this point and I can say shape and delete that guy. Okay, this matches the book. This little point right now is technically um, C in your book. And they want us to put just a little mark, three fourths inch. Now, if you guys remember from the front, that three fourths inch really didn't mean anything, but hey, let's just do it. Okay, I'm gonna right click, manually type in 0.75, return. Okay, the next thing is to say A to E is our center back hip depth. So in the book, they have a line right here, and that kind of shows that, hey, it's a different measurement. The, um, the, they want us to put like the back hip depth. When we pull the front hip depth over here, they just want us to mark the back one, but we actually don't need it. So I'm going to skip it because um, then the book has like three different versions of what to do next. Um, and we're gonna do version C three, which is the compromise. And in the compromise, you don't need point E, so why do that extra work? Okay. Um, well, anyways, this concludes um, figure four.